Decisions, decisions, decisions. You ever find yourself stuck for what to do? My tough decisions tend to center around what to eat. Pasta, pizza, something healthy, or what to wear, old school, new school, something different. Occasionally, I have to make longer term decisions. Which new car to buy, which job to apply for, which house to buy. These are harder because the consequences of getting them wrong are not so small. In the world of business, the decision makers are mainly those in management positions. So make the decision to stay tuned for the next four minutes and we'll explore the types of decisions that are being made by managers and companies every day. The types of decisions you need to understand for higher business. You never know, the implications could be pretty big for you. Let's find out. This is Think4. Let's start with long-term, high-impact decisions. These are known as strategic decisions. These will be made by the most senior level managers in the business and will set the overall purpose and direction of the company. Because these are high value decisions, they're also likely to involve some level of risk and substantial financial investment. As an example, let's take the supermarket Aldi. Let's say senior managers at Aldi make the decision to target 10% growth in market share within the next five years. This would be a long-term, high-impact decision which would demand investment and determine the direction of the business in the UK market over a number of years. When we consider the big four competitors in terms of UK supermarkets, achieving 10% growth in market share won't come easy. So, what steps might Aldi take to realise this? Now we're talking tactics. Tactical decisions will need to be made by mid-level managers at Aldi to set out ways to accomplish the longer-term strategic goal. These tactical decisions will be medium-term timescale, likely still measured in years, mid-level risk, and will involve some financial outlay. In the context of our example, for Aldi, this could mean deciding to invest in the high-profile, aggressive TV adverts they've become known for, in order to keep the brand in the public eye. There could also be a decision to continue to invest in the development of more Aldi own brand alternative products to try and expand the product range for customers. Ultimately, the possible tactical decisions here are all geared towards achieving the longer term strategic goal. That leaves one more type of decision to be aware of, what we call an operational decision. These are short term, low impact, low risk decisions commonly made by junior managers or shift supervisors. Operational decisions are often based on day-to-day -day circumstances. For example, in Aldi, a store manager will make everyday decisions on things like when to schedule staff breaks for those working that day, managing staff holiday requests so they don't all happen at the same time, discounting perishable products that may have a short shelf life, or even deciding how to handle a customer complaint scenario. Exam questions on this topic of decision-making usually focus on the features of one type of decision or require you to compare two different types of decision. Either way, the question will look for answers on the common areas we've just mentioned. Who makes the decision? What's the time scale? What's the impact on the business? And what's the level of financial implication? So, whether you're making a decision about your next pizza or your next career move. Be clear on the differences between long-term strategic decisions, tactical ones, and the short-term operational stuff. Getting it wrong can be bad, but some will definitely be worse than others. Getting this stuff right, on the other hand, is going to make life a lot easier. It might also be the decision you need to make to hit the A grade at higher business. This was Think4, thanks for watching.